Okay, let's continue. Hey, so we want to continue from? Uh, exactly where we left off. All right, so, um, so yeah, right now I was renaming this test. Not surrounded. Okay, so we were we were just saying, um, even when it's not supposed to feel surrounded, it does feel surrounded, right? Right. So we're re removing the just assumption. Like the, yeah, just like my emotional state sometimes. All right. Two is not surrounded. All right. Uh, should not. Uh, obstacle shown. Not removed. So this one you could probably check both of them still, like what we did last time. Yep, just double the control D. All right, okay. second so just control D. You don't have to. You can just uh, not have any selection, and we'll just do the whole line. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. And C three. All right, cool. So, let's get rid of this assumption. Oh, God. Please, let's do it. But you do it. I do it. <laughs> All right. Um, I definitely think it has to do something with this logic is almost fully surrounded. Um, Sure so the bug is that it thinks it is fully surrounded, and then it changes the stone color. No, no, oh, the yeah. bug is it is fully surrounded, but we shouldn't be removing it just because it is f almost fully surrounded, right? Mm -hmm. So, it, uh, Maybe the best way would be to check out what is the stone that is not that is not the of the opposite color. That is the same color. The stone maybe um check what stone is that that is the same color and check if that stone is almost surrounded except for Oh, that's a good check. I like that. You know what I mean? So like when but we get I think this, it's already we... doing that. No, it's not doing that right now. It just um checks if this if it's there's four stones surrounding it, mm -hmm. and there's a black, right? So what we need to do is that we if this, this is a black, we also need to check this black is also half full, almost fully surrounded with one black. Actually, that, yeah, that's with one black. That'll get passing it for now. So you need to check both of them as fully surrounded, almost fully surrounded. That would make it pass. Okay. So it would need to have maybe out out x out y for what would that be like to make it too complicated? Uh, it's almost surrounded. To the left. Right. And X plus one. Minus one. Left should be minus one. Right? I meant to the right. Uh, to the right, yeah. To the, to the left, try minus one. You think it's checking on the other direction? Yeah, just try minus one. Okay. Should I try? Oh. Ah. It's no. almost as good. I think your change was better. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, the reason those are breaking, we, let's see the names of the tests that are failing right now. Um, oh, oh, this runs oh, the debugger. Ah, uh, crap. That's not what I wanted. 
Do you know what's the... I mean, you want to make a sh- shortcut for the running all tests? Um, what I usually do is... Um, I basically just have a shortcut to right click on the solution and then I just repeat that I see but uh, yeah you can have a shortcut to that so which one's failed surround to opposite color stones surround to opposite color stones no not near top edge and surround opposite color stones remove so we just broke all the existing edge cases because ah uh, because in in all those edge in all those uh, two color stones, this actually didn't work. So I I don't think we're far off from the solution. I mean, uh, not all these tests have us almost surrounded on right and on left. Mm. Do you understand what I mean? No, I think I'm a little lost with that. <laughs> Um, what I'm saying is that the only thing we broke is the three tests we currently have right. for when we have two consecutive stones of the same color which are surrounded. Right. Which are fully surrounded. Uh, it's because we didn't... Uh, because maybe this one keeps on checking to the right. So almost fully surrounded is returning false. Almost fully surrounded, it should return true if we actually check on the left as well. Right now, we're only checking on the right. Yeah. Remember? So maybe we make a copy of that method. I don't think we need to make a copy, we just need to fix it. This is the, the, the fix we wanted to do before, remember? Right. Okay. Board get stone color of X and Y. Okay, at least I didn't break anything else. Oh, because that's the bottom. What I meant is um, the one on the left. Board, get stone color, X and Y. Almost. Um, and... Yeah, I, I guess we should just check fully surrounded by che- by 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 counting, right? Mm-hmm. It might be <sighs> easier. Sorry. No, but it, yeah. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna go ahead and see what happens um, when I just start counting. Int surrounded. Zero. And if surround on left, on, surround on top, right, surrounded edges, plus plus. Basically. Agreed? Um, so right now it's just it's, it's checking if the color on the left and the right and the top is equal to to black I see okay is is the same color you want to fix it um oops oh. okay. I want them all to be in the same line I see. So I want it to be a single line for each one, just so it's uh, it's very simple, just like this. And then we have I see. surrounded uh, on right, surrounded on left. And then we would have basically um, surround.
rounded edges is equals three. Mm. Right? Oh, no? right now, um, I think you need to change this back to surrounded color. Why? Because you changed it, it's basically surrounded by its own color. You're trying to check it surrounded by... Remember that it's, it's or. We are already checking. Oh, so we need to add an or a third or to each one. So it's either surrounded by a different color or its own color. Agreed? Oh, no. Then, that, then there will be four. Then the value will be four for the other one. I think this uh, method is getting confusing now. <laughs> yeah, it does. But uh, just to understand the logic here, something is considered f almost surrounded when it's surrounded, for us, the simplest case is that it has three different color edges and one same color edge. Right. Okay? Right. So we need to have surrounded edges three, and we also need to check uh, same color edge one. Right. I guess just <laughs> copy and paste. It'll be uh, messy. It will be a lot of code, but let's get it working. I just want to see if, because uh, it makes sense to me, and it does, it is a lot of checking. We can make it nicer later. Right now, we have a bigger problem. Oh, God. Everything is moving so slowly on my machine here. Um, so now we have okay. surrounded edges same color no you're changing the wrong one of course you want to change the one Hold on. same color um, and here same color okay I'll, I'll do the changes if it's a little slow for you well now I'm, I'm in the flow dude <laughs> alright but now you can go ahead everything that requires scrolling is kind of a problem alright well this one same color. Um, this one. This one should be. What do we type before? Was it rules? No, board dot get color. Board I get. Color. Stone color of X, Y. Exactly. X, Y. Okay. And now we have uh, to do the final check. Is we have three of one and one of the other. Okay. Still failing. <laughs> I, I noticed that. Um, okay, so that wasn't the simplest thing that could possibly work, I guess. But it definitely feels right to me, so I'm trying to understand what have we missed and are we breaking different tests now? Just make want to make sure. So it's still surrounding and surrounding. So what I would go ahead and do is take one of the failing, debug it, um, and actually put a breakpoint right here. Um, actually put a breakpoint. Where would I put the breakpoint, actually? We need to... Um, Check for X and Y on H1. So we need to go to the add stone method, right? Right. Mm. 
Um, who's notify stone added? So that's what we want for now. You want to set a conditional statement? Um, Oops. So the four, four, four. Sure. Run it. Yeah, debug it. Okay, so. So, you should be checking this one. Fully surrounded. We expect, okay, this one. This is 4 3. We're, we're, this is exactly what we want to check, right? Right. 4 3. Um, it almost surrounded. Let's see what almost around it returns right now. It returns true. That's good for us, right? Right. So the surround is your right. It returns false. So let's go back into that. Okay, so almost around it returns true or false? Okay, so, so almost around it returns, returns true. Almost around to your right returns false. Okay, so, so let's, let's go to the first one. Just debug the first one. Well, the almost around it returns true. So we want to do the no, to no, the right no. one. right. From what I saw, almost around it returns false. And almost around it to the right returns true. No, it, it returned it. No, almost around to the right. I'm pretty sure I saw almost around to the right. Uh, how do I back out of this then? Uh, just press F5, see what happens. Alright. So if I do F10, almost around it returns true. F10 again, almost around to the right returns false. Okay. So we want to look at almost around it to the right. Well, actually, so we, that makes sense because almost all to the right is actually five right. three. You're right. So, so you we want, check you want almost it to, around it to the left. Okay. All right. So let's run. Let's get out of this. Yep. It's just I S one. Wait. Left. So it's still, still something wrong. Let's go back. Go back. Go back. I'll go back. Um, <laughs> okay, that's better. Um, okay, I guess we have to continue to debug. Because I'm one. We will be checking the one to the left of it at some point. So mm -hmm. that's four four, right? Um, okay. Now we want to check: is the the one at y minus one? We don't have a y minus one in a y minus one and x minus one. I think we should. Well, y minus one is x minus one. Is a diagonal, and we don't care about diagonals. We do care just for checking. No, I mean, no. in this case, wrapping the the black, we would care about checking the one on the top left. We would care no. about checking three. Surrounded three. is only like top left, bottom right. It, it, the diagonals don't make it surrounded. So I'm not sure what, what you're trying to go with the diagonals part. We're not checking the, 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 that the current stone is being surrounded. We're checking that the stones around the stone are being surrounded. Right. So this. So we can the, check six stones. We can check eight. No, but then like, why would we want to check the stones in the diagonal are surrounded? Because um, the reason we check around the stone we were checking around where we added the stone is sure. because it affects the stones only immediately around it, like left, right, and top and bottom. It doesn't affect the stones in the diagonals. Um, the reason I'm, I'm thinking about it is because it's the best way for us. Is if we added this, if I think if we just check this one, everything will be good. That's why I think it would work. Okay. We're not. Because I think our okay. algorithm is specifically designed currently for checking just this one. All right. Sure, we can try that. 
or we can just rewrite the test to make it pass. <laughs> I think if we take this one out and add it last, it would make it pass. Sure. So like, but but I I don't think well I don't think the problem is with the test. That's the thing. I think uh, right. I mean the test. The test. test. Is, I mean, we can try it right now, but I think a lot of, oh, I guess we can try it. It just seems a little bit weird to me. Oh, the, well, it's definitely, I think it feels weird. I agree. I'm just, uh, it's it's more of a, what if this happened? Just like, a, right. like an Excel sheet. Just just control D, dude. Oh, it's too late. I already did it. <laughs> All right. Okay, everything passed. Yeah. All right, wait, okay. <laughs> sure. Interesting. So do you think if we add another test that that puts the, the white on the left last, we will have a breaking test? Um, no, because the, this, I, that one, we use this one to check it. So when, once it gets to this one, we'll check the top. We'll actually check this and check that. So what what's happening right now is that these these two have to be almost surrounded. That's what our implementation is doing. So by by doing the one we check diagonal, we're checking if these two are surrounded. So for so if we take if we add this one last, this will check these two are surrounded for the top part. So it'll pass. Okay. So my question to you is, do you have a problem with the current implementation? <laughs> Um, except I mean, I mean that, with, 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 the, with the line I just added, you just added. Be besides that, it's a little bit weird because it doesn't make, it doesn't really apply to the, the game, like checking diagonally, but it works though. So. Well, we're, I, I don't, it, ha it has nothing to do with the rules of the game. It just has to do with the algorithm that looks at the board. Yeah. Okay. So given something, it, it right now looks at up, down left, right, and also diagonal left. That's it. That's all it does. Right. I just, just imagine if I was to take this code and explain to someone how it works, it's a... It's okay, so be... maybe we, we need to name this method differently. We can call it... I mean, look at the name of the method. Check stones around position and remove if needed. That's all. That's what it does. Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. All right. We'll continue, and we'll see if... Uh, the way I think it's about redundant. it is it's like... Um, do you know in all those um, D and D games where you have the fog of battle, and you yeah. look around it, but you can only see part of the map as you walk around? Mm -hmm. So this is like this is what we're doing. This method is like uh, dispersing the fog. It's just mm -hmm. a different algorithm for looking around. It has nothing to do with the game. Right. Right. Okay. Like each stone it it checks it based on the rules of the game. Which, mm -hmm. I mean, it could easily have gone through now all the squares in the game and checked them. Who cares? Right? Yeah. It's just yeah. now. So, um, yeah. so obviously, I, I, obviously something is missing and all, those, all the pet tests pass. First, first of all, we need to commit because this obviously doesn't happen a lot when everything passes. So let's say. <laughs> all right. What feature did we just add, by the way? Um... Um, the the one where where two we have stone... a vertical vertical uh, two two stones. Oh, we did. I commented that one. We, we added okay, this let's, one. Uh, oh, so what we, we added the one where oh, it was not fully the assumption. surrounded. We removed the assumption where it's not fully uh, um, surrounded. Then it doesn't remove the stones. But I would also suggest that we do multiple versions of this test. I agree. So that we feel more confident. But uh, just commit for now, so we have something. OK. OK, so let's do multiple versions of this test. Let's see what happens. What do you mean multiple versions? You mean the vertical one? 
No, no, the one you just added where you said, oh, that's but it's hard coded. Uh, oh, right? oh, this one. I yeah, see. where you say, well, it's not really checked. It's just checked. Uh, it's, uh, it shouldn't be replaced if it's not fully surrounded. All right. So. Uh, I forgot to control D again. Do you think you should a use a test case? No, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, you want to use the test case. Oh, so I see. I see what you meant. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we can do the test case. Because oh, uh, you did something similar like that earlier. Yeah, but would it would it complicate things for you or not? No, no I think it's perfect for this. Where did you add that though? But you should double click on the on the pane here. So it's easier to add it. Double click didn't work. I drag it. Okay. Yeah, double drag this it. This thing right here. This thing. It's pretty cool. Where where is you? Cool. I just replaced the string with the other string. First um yeah so what did you call it the other one called string white. board map oh, i just wanted to make it um uh, consistent okay but you have uh, the wrong board map here Now you have to use the, the same string. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Just remove that line. Yeah. Cool. Uh, it's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. What is? This? Oh, this is ghosting. Um, maybe you should copy it after uncommenting it, and then comment out the other one. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Okay, now you have the part in the test that doesn't compile. Very cool. Uh, now we, but we do need to check different position statuses for each one. Oh, I was just going. Oh, no, hold on, but, but you need one more parameter. Oh, you just want to move uh, the, the missing things around? Yeah. Cool, cool, okay. Same positions, though. Yeah, so I was going to put the W back in here. But oh, yeah. move this W. Nice. And then we can just check the other ones, too. Nice. Maybe. I want to pass this. That one passes. Took care of that. <laughs> How many tests do we have so far? Ah, uh, does it say? Doesn't it say right now. Twenty-eight. Okay, commit. Well, first, I want to make sure. <laughs> cool. Oh, so so add that as a test case, dude. Uh, okay. If you really care about it, I, I didn't really tree, care too much. Set a tree with a test case. But if it makes you feel more confident, then do it. It's really important that you All feel right. confident. 
we need some confidence after these few days, past few sessions. Right. Okay. Okay. And just to make uh, sure, commit. So, increase confidence. <laughs> um, no. Yeah, maybe. No. Added variations of. I'll just copy the test. Just the actually no properties. God darn it. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Um. Let's see. Okay. So you wanna let's see what happens with this test now. This one. Fails. Okay, now it makes sense. So let's make this pass and finish for today. Okay. Okay. Another option is to refactor some of the ugly code we wrote before. I'm trying to understand why why is it failing first still because we basically um we do the checking around it if um, oh we. We don't check only the one the on the top. Right. I'm partially surrounded, I think. Right. So basically, the easiest implementation would be basically copying what we did before. But hold on. Which, what, what do you think is missing? Well, what you just said, we were not chalk, We're not checking on top. We're just checking almost surrounded to the right. This one would be checking almost surrounded on the top. Okay. So I think you just duplicate the if and change the if. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. We need an almost around it on top, I agree. All right, let's see if this breaks it. Uh, minus one. Oh, 15. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you said uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's kind of like the same thing we did with the, the left thing, so. Now six are broken. Oh, what? Oh, it's because... The original one was this. No, what I'm saying is, uh, uh, keep let, let's see which tests fail, just to see what happens. Okay. Oh, by is the it... way, oh, yeah, hold on. Um, oh. No, 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 no. What, what I'm saying is, you didn't make it on top, really. You just you didn't fix this. Oh, no, that but one was a 15 What I'm fail. saying is, is that we're changing the wrong positions. We should say here... Ah, uh, minus one. I see. Oh, you missed it. I'll fix it. You Fourteen. Fourteen now. <laughs> uh, but now would be a good time to to Alt R and see just the names of the failing ones. Well, the if, actually I saw this one looks pretty nice this way. Okay. The south the. Um, so let's just look at the names and see what kind of features did we break. So we, we broke add stone. We broke determine winner. This one, one is just surrounding a stone and removing it. Which one? This look, is the first add one. Add stone to empty position is broken. Oh, this one's the index was outside the bounds of the array. I mean, uh, look, so, look at this. Look at this the second test right here. 
add stone to empty position, other empty position is unaffected. What is the, what's the, it looks like these are all outside the bounds of array errors. Oh, let's see, index without, out of bounds. Okay, that's good. That's not so bad. They're all out yeah, of bounds. They're so all we just need to check if there is an, a Y minus one, because all our tests are really at the top. So mm -hmm. that makes sense. So what if we um, shift escape this one? It's, be it's because um, when we when we did this, it's control P. Remember how we added the edge? Uh, we have an edge. We have an edge, so maybe there's something wrong with the our edge. edge. Well, let's just check if Y is bigger than board size minus edge. I mean, if okay. it's not bigger, bigger than that's that's all the check we need actually. Um, I mean, if we go here and say also surrounded and um, y is bigger than edge is it like this I think you need to do that a little bit higher Please. because the, the the break the error is probably from right from the method when it calls is almost fully surrounded is it I th think it was. I, I think actually we're doing it right here. I think if we don't okay. need to check for, I mean, let's see, okay. Uh, y is bigger try. than 2, actually. And just add this here. Oh, you think it's almost worth switch around just checking. Uh, yeah, can okay. we take a look at the error yeah, message again? <sighs> yeah, I see what you mean. I mean, yeah, we can we can do the whole thing here, basically. Well, let me let me check the error submit message first. Um, one more time. Okay, well, how come? Where's the? Oh, okay. The so call stack. It's yeah. It's it's when it calls, it's almost fully surrounded, and then it calls get stone. So Unfortunately, get stone. it it doesn't say that what the x or y value is. But. I what if get that. stone returned like an like an edge, over edge, and then it wouldn't break. And then it's not empty, over edge. and it's not white, and it's not black. That's one way sure. to solve it. That's interesting. Like, um, basically, um, if x is, all right, for now, just for us, is if y is smaller than zero or is it one yeah one one yeah return you know what let's just say empty no no edge edge is good because empty would mean like it's an empty position so like anything we do with the edge well we can do empty right now and then we'll just add that feature later on there. i just want you to notice that all the tests are passing now <laughs> Right. Right. We'll just, all right. We'll just keep this for now and then uh You're uh, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> uh but yeah, but you can change it to edge. Right. And uh, we, then we can do a test that says uh we need to check for X as well. But right. for now, so what did we just do? What feature did we just add, by the way? Um, vertic vertical. Okay, Stone that's vertical. cool. That's cool. Let me add in a to-do. Yep, I think that's good. All right. All right. Commit. Push. Commit. <laughs> and pray that nothing fails on my machine tomorrow. All right. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Commit added vertical to surround two opposite color stones in vertical mode. Okay, that's good. Virtual. Virtual. Yeah. Nice. All right. Okay, Raymond. Uh, I forgot. To add, I forgot. To add. Yeah. Right. Sure. Cool. I'll see you uh, in session number one million thirty-five. Cool. Okay. Cheers, everyone, and hopefully Cheers. you've had a better time than us. <laughs> cool. Okay, now it's uh, stopped. Let's see if it actually stopped.